What is going on guys, it is Zaza here and I welcome you to a brand new video. Now this is not a Second Life video, but it is an informational video slash tutorial about how to schedule Steam downloads. Now this method is very useful because you can schedule de Steam downloads for, I don't know, 2 a.m. So you get really quick download speed. And um, obviously you will need your computer slash laptop on um, so that it can run the command to open Steam and start the installation. Um, it may look quite tricky at first, but I guarantee that if you follow this method it will work. And you don't need third party software, um, which can be risky. So we're going to jump right into this and we're going to go to start, search, type in task, and then you're going to want to open schedule tasks, not task manager. Now this window here can be a bit laggy because there is a ton of tasks that Windows runs when it launches. Um, but you're not going to need to worry about all of this, you're just going to want to go on create a basic task on the right side of the screen. Um, you can name this anything, um, h1 download, it's just because I'm going to use h1z1 as an um, example. Um, that can be anything, description you can leave blank if you want, it's completely up to you. Um, click next. You're going to want to set this to one time so that, <laughs> so that it doesn't open H1Z1 daily at a certain time, or weekly at a certain time, or monthly at a certain time. Set it to one time, that is something you've really got to take in and use. Click next. Set it to the time you want the download to start. So what I normally do is set it to the next day, um, really early in the morning. So like 2 or 4 o'clock, between 2 and 4 a.m. is a great time to sort of, you know, schedule a download because there's barely anyone online um, so you'll get some really quick internet download speed. So um, you set the time and date, um, of course, whenever you want. Click next and you're going to want to tick the box that says start a program. Click next and here where it says program slash script, you're going to want to click browse. Find where Steam is located, Steam EXE. Um, mine is located in this PC, Windows 8, OS, C Drive, Program Files 86, Steam. And then you're going to want to scroll down to steam.exe, which is just Steam application, open, and you'll see it insert here. Um, make sure it says .exe at the end of Steam there. Um, and in the add arguments box, it says optional, but you need it. You're going to want to paste the thing that I put in the description. Um, basically, it's Steam run game ID. It's a command or arguments, whatever you want to call it. But um, that's not it. You need to actually add your own Steam game ID, and I'll show you exactly how to do that now. So to find a game ID, you open Steam, you find the game, um, you go to the store, you search for the game, and as you can see, H1Z1, up the top here in the URL box, you will see a code. It's six digits long. Um, that is the game ID, so you need to copy that. It's six digits, um, 433850 is for H1Z1. So you can minimize Steam now, and you've got to paste that in there at the end. And you can see Steam, there's no spaces or anything. Steam run game ID 433850, and then click next. Um, and that's basically it. You can open the properties dialog and then click finish. It really, you don't need it at all. I wouldn't advise messing around with any of this stuff. Um, click OK, and you can see this task in the task scheduler library. Um, as you can see, H1 down um, at 4.12 a.m. on 12th of the 12th, 2017. Um, it's never run because we haven't run it before. You can actually run the script um, if you want, which I will show you. As you can see, it, it starts downloading it. Um, but um, I don't want to do that right now because I don't want to install it right now. Um, but it's really simple. If you followed this, I hope it helped because it should have worked, um, but yeah, I hope it helped, that's all I can really say. If you do have problems, comment below, um, I'm always up for responding to comments, and uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much going to sum up this video, as per usual, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.